Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports. We're down in Goalie Utopia where another slice of heaven has arrived uh, down here in the store in the goalie department. We've talked a lot about uh, new launches, new product right through the summer, especially with some of the delays tied to shipping and the pandemic. Well, today we've got a new product that's right on time. As many of you know, Brian's is one of the few companies that launches its product kind of in this sort of early September heading into a new season as opposed to the spring. And that means it's time for a brand new Genetic 5. And in addition to being, dare I say, quite a sexy looking product, um, there are some improvements that are definitely worth noting on the Genetic 5, which I have here. And I've just got a Genetic 4 next to me from a couple years ago, just for comparison's sake, so that we can sort of highlight some of those changes in the pad itself. But there are changes in the glove, in the blocker. This might be the best sidewall. Uh, that I've seen Brian's produce ever um, and an area, frankly, where I think there was uh, room for improvement in terms of the sturdiness of it. We'll talk about the composite material that goes into that, but let's start where we always start, Cam. Let's start with the leg pads. Brand new, Brian's Genetic 5 leg pad. What's different? What's changed? Composite material. So this one's a big one up in the upper thigh portion. Now, it's not that necessarily like the old pad was flexy by any means um, in terms of floppy up at the thigh, but this is now a, a much significant upgrade and a big reinforcement for this upper thigh rise. So they're using their new Brycore, which is a triaxial foam technology, carbon foam. So we've got basically a, a layer of composite sandwiched between um, two layers of foam. Try, get it, three. I can count today. But it's Bry. But it's Brycore. As in Bryant. Nothing goes over this finely <laughs> quaffed head of Cam's. Uh, as he talked about uh, in terms of the thigh rise being a little more rigid, we have seen as, as, you know, I will say that their foam and their core material has been as durable as any on the market over the past couple of years. Uh, but we have seen at times when, when goalies order, especially in, in the genetic line where it was designed to be, you know, more of a flexible pad, you know, frankly, um, we saw it right up to the NHL with Robin Lehner in the playoffs a couple of years ago. I think it was in the bubble where, you know, that could get enough flex in it to hit a thigh rise and trap door its way through. Uh, that's been solved with the new Bry core and that layer of carbon to sort of just stiffen it up a little bit. Um, really nice sort of thin profile on the pad as well. Uh, you can sort of see the curve on it. Uh, just... Again, sort of continuing in that genetic line compared to optic where this is more of a, a flex and feel pad. And yet again, there are some other changes. Uh, why don't we start with the bottom and the boot where this one's gonna sit a little higher. It's not quite as shallow in the boot area as the four was. And we'll, we'll, we'll get the cameras up close on that. You can see that little bit of a bump where the skate sits. So it'll sit a little higher on your leg. Uh, what are some of the other changes that we've seen, Cam, in the pads? So yes, that internal boot razor, which you just called out there as well, um, a bit of a visual um, as well as in terms of functional is it's keeping, uh, again, the pad just puffed up a little bit more, should allow the skate to drop out of the pad just a little bit easier too as well to create better um, you know, edge catch as you're down with the butterfly. Torsional flex still remains. Um, again, the pad just having a bit of twist to it. So especially when you're dropping down in the butterfly, helping to get the rest of that pad to seal and come down. Exactly, so instead of having, you know, shift here, push the pad up at the top, it's gonna flex down. Again, a little bit of that twist to allow the pad to stay flush even as you put pressure on the back of it. Knee stack is improved. Uh, they've beefed it up a little bit. And uh, laced it in this time around to create a little bit more structure as well. So that's one of the bigger differences between that and the four. A little bit more rigidity when you're dropping again. Correct. So you don't want that getting floppy. You don't want that getting floppy to the point, folks, where it can beat the inside edge of the pad down. That's going to delay your seal. Correct. Uh, this will improve it. It's quite a bit. It, it's quite a bit more rigid. It's definitely a pretty significant upgrade for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's noticeably. It feels almost thicker too. I, I mean, I know there's rules and maximums there, but it just feels sturdier and thicker than what's on the four. Uh, you've got the little pro bump at the end to Correct. sort of create a level dropping field. Now inside, we've also got some changes. We talk about sealing the ice. Uh, significantly thicker underneath your calf in terms of a landing area, nice soft plush. Um, That's gonna help put that pressure down on that calf plate and completely seal off that pad. 
biggest upgrade for it as well. Um, also some refinements in the actual internal of the pad. You're seeing that SBA foam that they've used before and just exclusively on the, just the knee pad, for example, of where you land. Now they've used it all the way throughout the cradle and the leg channel of the pad itself. Nice, cough, uh, comfy foam, um, moisture wicking qualities. Um, however, I, I would say it is a little bit grippier, but that's not necessarily a bad thing for this style of a pad because you don't want it slopping all the way around on your leg. And again, it's designed, it's a pad. This is a pad that's designed to sort of move with your leg, maybe be worn a little tighter compared to say an optic line, uh, a little more move with your leg as opposed to around your leg, a little more feel and connection is something Correct. you'd be looking for in this pad or most goalies would look for in the optic line. So one thing I do like about this is as much as they've had, you have this pillow and that's going to improve your seal. And I think we remember even in Genetic 4 sort of just how comfortable you felt in the butterfly. It felt like it almost supported you in the butterfly. Uh, without having tested this, it feels like that's going to be a continuation of that theme. But I like how they've tapered it off nice and high. So as much as this is thick and it's going to sit on the ice and help your seal, you don't want this up. You, don't, you want that skate to be able to get to the ice to prevent any sort of uh, resistance without much resistance and I like how this tapers off so that'll happen now the question you ask anytime we improve seal that means we have more pressure more connection between the inside edge and the ice well more connection more pressure to the inside edge could inhibit sliding they've taken care of that obviously we've got the opti slide material uh, that continues, which which we've really Opti been impressed with. Opti slide necessarily the way it's set up. The actual material though is still Brian's Primo material. That doesn't change. The Opti slide is the way it's cut. Okay. To so optimize. I, I learned something, which doesn't happen very often when I'm with Cam, to be honest with you. But what oh, I'm going to teach him now every day. is they have actually stiffened up the inside edge. Uh, higher density foams in here, uh, which will again improve the sliding to offset anything you might have lost with the seal. So um, some, some pretty big changes in the Genetic 5, but also some themes that kind of continue over in terms of what you'd expect from a fit, feel, and performance uh, in this line if you've been a long time Brian's guy and you're trying to decide between optic and genetic. Uh, those differ the differentiation between the two lines sort of continues. Correct. Uh, one little quick call out, and just because I really like this, as just an added durability feature, Vines has added actually added a strip of uh, Gem Pro along the side of the pad. So anytime you get that little bit of over tighten, for example, with using your um, uh, Velcro straps, just a wear feature. Uh, I just like it. It's a nice little quick call out. It's just a highlight of some of the care and what they do in terms of their hand built pads. So um, I'd say that pretty much about covers it for pads wise. Um, moving on. I want to, I want to, I want to, let's start with the blocker. Okay. Um, because uh, Brian's always had a good feeling blocker, uh, but I wouldn't necessarily have called it the most protective blocker, especially on that inside edge um, compared to some of the other options that are out there on the market. Uh, they've stiffened this up significantly. They've increased the protection over the fingers. This still feels, you know, like that mobility in mm -hmm. terms of being able to steer pucks that you want. Um, that balance that I remember from their blockers. Obviously, we've got the boa strap for the wrist if you want to tighten it up quite easily. Never uh, never really understood why everyone wears their wrist tight. I want that mobility. But just a lot more protection on the inside edge. It's not curved. It's not soft. It's got some some beef to it. And also over top of the fingers. This this might be the most, and this is, hey, I haven't been out in it yet, folks, but this this feels like out of the box. We often gloss over blockers, but this feels like a significant improvement. Yeah, and it has a lot to do with, again, that uh, carbon phone that we were talking about earlier. Uh, that Brycore technology uh, returns in the blocker itself um, for the actual blocker board face and the sidewall. Again, calling out how much stiffer that is in terms of rigidity-wise. Again, as you are sealing up, that's a nice solid surface and still also a good solid punch because we know sometimes you do catch that occasional sidewall as you beat yourself to the puck, for example. Um, better finger protection as well. It's been beefed up. You get that nice kind of almost armadillo wrap to your fingers. Nothing's exposed. Removable thumb pillow. Um, nice little call out there. That helps pump out the sidewall just that little bit more. But if you are looking for a little bit more space and a little bit more freedom where your thumb is at, that just felt goes out nice and easy. Beyond that, we still are very, very close to that genetic four blocker, just in terms of feel and balance point on the hand. But I will say the addition of that carbon foam um, and especially that sidewall definitely takes it a leg up for sure. So um, great feeling blocker. 
but not the last piece. Yeah, you're hiding the glove over there. Uh, let's share that with the folk. Genetic five, goalie catcher. What's different? What does it feature? Again, seems to be a common let, theme. Let me get this. Let me guess. Brycor. Ah, you did it. Okay, Brycor, especially in the thumb um, and cuff angle of the glove itself, um, providing some more rigidity and some stiffness to the cuff profile. Um, big things that I found different about this, like for example, it's still got that great uh, closure right out of the box with that genetic four hat. A um, bit of a flatter uh, finger angle. Um, I think, again, it's more of a differentiation now between this and the actual optic glove itself in terms of the, the way the angle closes and how the glove closes on your hand. I do like that it has a nice steep deflection towards it. Um, we'll see kind of over time how that looks. Uh, I believe there is carbon on this side as well, so it's going to stay fairly rigid and fairly flat in that kind of area. Um, presents big. It does exactly. present big. It is a little, that, that sort of straight finger... It's a little, it jumps out at you when you first pull it out of the box. I and mean, obviously it closes beautifully. And obviously we've known for a while that Brian's pockets tend to suck pucks in the way they've designed the glove, most pucks end up in there. But it was interesting to see that lack of any curve on the fingers. It does, but, but when you do sort of present it to a shooter, it looks really big. Exactly, exactly. Um, moving to the backhand, a bit of a redesign on how they've done the finger protection for the glove as well. So again, you get a nice wrap with that carbon material again to help prevent Again, with those slashes coming you down. You need me to go get a stick? No, it's, it's okay. That's still okay. Thank you, though. Still, still bruised from last week? Still bruised from last week. On extension of the actual finger length itself, so again, indicative of how uh, much this actually backhand has changed, for example, uh, I feel like my fingers come to right in about there, and I've still got all that more in terms of for the way the glove kind of wraps around. So it's a bit of a different feeling, for sure. You know, normally I find, you know, I sit a lot deeper in a lot of gloves, and I get my fingers all the way around, so... Um, and yet it closes like... Exactly, it's not like it affects day. the closure at all. So, like I said, it's a bit of an interesting feel. It's one of those things that you kind of got to pick up and try on yourself to know kind of what, what, what I'm feeling here. Yeah, and just so you know, like we talked about the presentation, how good it looks. Easy there, Felix Potvan, holding it into your chest. Show, show the folks at home how it presents. Well, first of all, quick, quick backhand look. Quick backhand look, Boa does make its return. You get your Boa wrist strap and Boa backhand strap. So again, you like that really, really tight glove. Your hand ain't going anywhere, but it's not affecting the closure either, which is that fantastic. Is, like, I gotta say, like ever since they introduced that, I, when, when they originally introduced it, we had questions. Um, all but these not, years later, there is no anywhere. better way to sort of lock your hand into a glove. And you saw the two piece there. Like personally, I've talked about that wrist. I want the wrist mobile, so I leave that loose. The back of the hand, it just locks you into that glove completely. But that's the thing with the way that they've designed the wrist too, is that you can really torque floating, down on that free floating, floating, free floating wrist cuff, and I can still have that wrist mobility while having it nicely torqued down. So. And what are we? What? How many years are we into them using the Boa product, which is a product we see in all kinds of other uh, sports and industry applications? Was I it Sub Zero Three? So it's been a while. It's I think been, it was Sub Three. So multiple generations with the Boa in there. We've had one break in all those years, and it was a quick part and an easy fix. Took, took about 30 seconds to watch a video and fix it. Was and it if I can fix it in 30 seconds, it's not oh, a Oh, man. Now we're thinking Genetic three. Maybe. It's been at least five, six years. At it's least. been a while. Yeah. We could sit here and wait for Cam to figure out the math, uh, or we could get him to give you the number where you can call and get more details on Genetic 5, which will be in stock in the store here at the Hockey Shop or online at thehockeyshop.com. Or, of course, custom orders. Um, we talk about the spec, we talk about that boot sitting a little higher. You got to ask Cam, hey, is that going to affect sizing for me? Get all those questions answered by calling Cam and his staff where? 604-589-8299. Or check them out at thehockeyshop.com, send them an email. Cam doesn't actually have off hours. Um, he tries to pretend to ignore my calls in the middle of the night asking about the latest glove break, but he typically does pick up. So just I, make sure you give well, any hour, store email hours. Him. Store Text hours. Him all the time. He's married. I'm but not it giving out my personal number. I'm sorry. Nobody's been interested in your personal number in years, Cam. <laughs> but they are interested in the genetic five. So make sure you come to thehockeyshop.com or if you can in person, take it off the wall, chest, test it out, get a feel for it yourself. Cam, thanks for walking us through the new genetic five. Thanks, Cam.